Hello dear friends, welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. My name is Jory. Today my son and I will be talking about the miscarriage a little more. Uh, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. All right, so it's not an easy topic to talk about, mm -mm. but um, we wanted to kind of give you guys a perspective from the husband and the kids um, and Jabin was comfortable enough to talk about it, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. Can you scoot up a little bit? Yeah, it's not an easy topic, but we wanted to address it and um, just sit down with you guys again and talk it through a little bit. Did you know that mama was pregnant? Um, I think I had a pretty good feeling. I'm like, is she pregnant? Because the thing she was doing, she's like, I don't want to vomit, so let me just chew on gum. So I'm like, Very maybe she's minute. getting pregnant. <laughs> so, so you knew. Yeah. You knew that uh, mama, when she's pregnant, she has hyperemesis gravidarum and mm -hmm. she throws up all A the lot. time. Yeah. yeah. So when, um, was it Ellie's pregnancy or was it the miscarriage before, before that? Her. So it was, there was a miscarriage before Ellie. Yeah. And during that pregnancy, um, the beginning part, because it didn't last long, um, mom, uh, Biname, was throwing up. Oh, yeah. And it was really hard on Javen. Javen yeah. was pretty young at that time. I don't know and, how old I was, five? Um, I want to say you're 10 now. Ellie is almost three. three. Yeah. So you might have been about five, yeah. Wow. Um, it so wasn't that... long after we moved into the other house. So yeah, you probably would have been around five. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was really hard for Javen to hear Biname throwing up. Like, if she started to throw up, he would actually go outside mm -hmm. and cover his ears because it was really hard for him. Yeah. So so when you heard her like talk about throwing up now, mm -hmm. you were like, oh no, not again. Yeah. And I remember when I was younger and we had the miscarriage, I think before Ellie, mm -hmm. we, I used to take me to Granny's house because you didn't want me to be like all nervous yeah. and get too yeah. scared and stuff. Yeah, I would, I, if I knew Benjamin was going to be sick or she started getting sick and throwing up and it was real bad. Um, yeah, then I would try to take them over to my mom's house a little bit. Uh, we couldn't always do that because it wasn't convenient uh, for them um, to have the kids there. But when we could, we did. But the other one before Ellie, there was one before Ellie and one after now. And so we had like told people all, pretty early that we were pregnant and then had the miscarriage and then had to backtrack all those, you know, Oh, go back through the list of people we had told and say, oh, we, you know, the, we had a miscarriage. So I remember that mom, once mom said, I want to have five kids. So that would have been five. <laughs> yeah, and with then those two, yeah. When, when, before Ellie, that miscarriage, I remember we went to New York and we bought clothes. I thought it was going to be a boy and Bella got a girl <laughs> one and we still have that bow and Eliana oh. wears it. But it's kind of nice that we have her to kind of like replace both of them. She's yeah. like a real big blessing. Yeah, Ellie is Ellie's a real character. And there's like, even tonight, we were, what were we doing? What was happening? Oh, Ellie was just running all over. She was touching the lights, touching the camera. She was just going Like crazy. messing with things. Being, she's hilarious. Being just a little, you know, she's almost three. She's very active and she's into scrappy. everything. Yeah, she's like messing with stuff and goofing around. And mom was like, Ellie, I'm just annoyed with you right now. You're, you're messing around too much. I can't take it or something. I can't remember what she said exactly. And Ellie sits down by mom. She goes like, Mama, I receive you. <laughs> just out of the blue. And we're like, no. what? She says, and mama just melted. She just started laughing. And she's like, how can I, how can I be upset with you when you're so cute? She was like, she was like, you're so merciful and so kind to me. <laughs> and then. Yeah, that, Ellie, um, Ellie has been like oh. a huge blessing because she lifts our spirits like all the time. Mm -hmm. she's, she's just a perfect like third child. Mm -hmm. Each child has had a wonderful personality and hers fits just right for the season we're yeah. in. Yeah. It's funny because we middle, her nickname was Joy. We started calling her Joy just mm -hmm. because she was like so excited. Yeah. The other day, she was like fighting daddy, and it was hilarious because she's like this little thing, and she's so like innocent. She's not and afraid cute. at yeah. all, though, is she? Yeah. She's got a real mean right hook when that thing oh. comes around. Woo! Now watch out. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's a weird thing to think that on both sides of Ellie, there was a miscarriage. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's hard to think about. But so we, 
It's not that we didn't want the kids to know. We we felt like we were kind of protecting them not um, to be so from sad. yeah, not to be worried or sad. Um, and then you know after the miscarriage happened this time, we actually waited a little while to tell them because we wanted to make sure it was the right timing and that they weren't too you know sad. I mean they were still sad. It was still yeah. hard for them and. I, I don't know if you're okay with me sharing that yeah. you were pretty sad. I was more emotional than Bella. Oh, I think I was more emotional than Bella, and Bella didn't, like, think about it, like, at the moment. But mm -hmm. later, she kind of got, like, more sad yeah. about it. Yeah, you were, you were really I was, sad. You, I was, you actually like, covered your crying, face and yeah. cried, yeah. Sorry, bud. He, he, Javen really had his heart set on having another sibling, a especially brother. a little brother. Yeah. He really wanted a little man that he could... You know, show how to play soccer and mm -hmm. and do do guy stuff with and mm -hmm. just have a little. He just loves really cute little babies. Um, babies period. like anything cute and adorable. Javen's big all eyes. about it. Like yeah. he loves like stuffed animals with big cute eyes and like he loves animals and so he was just really looking forward to having a little brother. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of hard for him. Yeah. So the I mean with the first miscarriage. The kids knew Bename was pregnant all along, and they actually went to one of the ultrasounds and saw the baby on the ultrasound picture. And I think being that connected to the baby mm -hmm. before we lost it was hard for them because then they had mm -hmm. seen it on the screen, you know. And so that was one reason why we didn't really tell them right away, yeah. um, just so they wouldn't feel quite as connected if anything did happen. And it did, um, you know, and so it's been sad. And, um... During the first miscarriage, I remember when we went to the ultrasound and we figured out mom had a miscarriage. The lady there was so sweet. She kept yeah. us occupied. She just made us laugh the whole time. <laughs> she was talking about just like the funniest things. Yeah. And I remember it just kept me like happy while I heard like mom in the back room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Life is such a gift from God and babies from the moment of conception you know, through to the time they're born and when they're with us and we're holding them, they're a gift all the way along. And it's God's design that um, babies would be born into families. Family was his design. And so, um, you know, it's sad when a family loses one. Mm -hmm. um, so I think for me, like from my perspective, I actually haven't really cried about it. Um, I remember thinking like, why is it not affecting me more? Like, I kind of felt guilty, actually. Like, you know, it's really affected Benamane. You know, it hurt Javen a lot and Bella. You know, I feel like they've all mourned in some way. Um, and I haven't really gone through that. And, you know, I feel like for me, it's kind of been more about being there for Bename and maybe for the kids a bit too, but like more for Bename. Like, it's been hard for her and there's been some little hiccups along the way with you know, like we spoke about with finding out about the miscarriage and going to the doctors and the different things we've gone through. Mm -hmm. So I think I've just been, I've been like there to support her, but I really haven't felt real deep sadness. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of almost leaves me feeling like, is there something wrong with me? I think when I think about the idea of, you know, the other day, I think what brought it to the foreground of my mind was thinking about Ellie because she was there and and then I thought you know she is like such a blessing I was like what what would this other one have been like it would have been like another blessing mm -hmm. that like now enjoy. I don't get to enjoy you know and so that in that moment I felt that a little bit but I haven't really like cried and I don't cry a lot um, it's pretty rare but but it is on my mind and I've always wanted a, a good sized family I've always wanted a big family like I always wanted at least five kids um, that's something I've always wanted, uh, to, to be a real big family. Yeah. The number of grace. Yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, um, I think not that it was good that we had the miscarriage, but it was better not to have the baby because mom said she wasn't in the right state of mind. She wouldn't be able to have it. It would be, no, it would be hard, more hard for her to have the baby now. To care she said, for Yeah. Her. Cause she said she's not feeling good, all that huh. stuff. So. I wonder if God like knew all oh, this is not going to be the right thing right. for them right now. Yeah, only only you know we can't imagine what God has in His mind exactly or what He's mm -hmm. planning or thinking, but we have to trust that no matter what difficulty we go through, that He always cares about us. It takes a lot of trust, um, 
And yeah, it, it, it would be a hard, I'm stuttering, it would be a hard time for Biname because she has some like physical goals and fitness goals. She has not felt her best for quite some time. And so, you know, we, that's probably partly hormonal and, you know, pregnancies really add to that. It's, it's partly mental and emotional and, mm -hmm. you know, she's been through a lot with um, difficult relationships that have really played a, a role in adding to these, you know, health issues that she's dealing with. And, you know, she's on a weight loss journey, too, and, you know, trying to trying to get back to the, the level of fitness she really wants. And so adding a pregnancy to that just would set things back. And so, you know, that coming to terms with that, even after she found out she was pregnant, was really hard for her. Um, and so, yeah, it's sad, but, um, you know, it might have been really tough, you know, to go full term with the pregnancy and... And to have a baby to care for, you know, 24-7, um, of course we would much rather have the baby, but, you know, we, we're choosing to trust God that he knows best. And and um, we don't believe he, like, causes bad things, but mm -hmm. he definitely can, he can definitely weave anything into the tapestry of our lives, into the beautiful, you know, thing that he's making of our lives. He doesn't, even the tough things, even the hard things, he can he can help those to become something that we look back and say, well, it was hard, but God used it to shape us into better people. So I think the thing for me is that it's not just that she like had a miscarriage. It's more like she has hard pregnancies and then a miscarriage. So it's right. like two bad things. But if mm -hmm. it was like an easier pregnancy and a few miscarriages, I think it would be mom would be more not happy, but more like she would feel better. Instead yeah. of, like, all that yuckiness and stuff like that. And also, like, if there weren't any miscarriages, but the pregnancies weren't the easiest, she could, like, it would it would be hard, but at least she wouldn't lose babies. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of, like, two things combined that make it a little harder for me to, like, process. Like, it's just, like, a lot. Yeah. Like, just to think about. Yeah. Hmm. So... Javen, do you feel like you would want Mama to have another baby? Mm. Your own personal feelings? Yes. You definitely mm. want a little brother, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Not if she has to go through all that trouble again right. of having a hard pregnancy and not having a baby. Right. I would say no. But if the baby is healthy and growing and it, it was a little bit of a hard pregnancy, I'd probably say yes. Yeah. And it's a hard thing to say because, like, none of us want to see mom, like, feel Sick. bad. And I know what you're saying. Like, if mom didn't have hard pregnancies and, you know, if you knew that there would be no miscarriage, it'd be like, yeah, of course, you know, like, as long as mom is cool with it, we'd love to have a bigger family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've talked about the possibility of adoption, too. Mm -hmm. And that's something, you know, we've, I don't know if we could say we feel called to it, but... The truth is there are children out there that need a home and, you know, we have a home. And so, you know, we should feel some amount of responsibility mm -hmm. for those children. Um, and so it's something that like we, we continually come back to as a conversation in our family. It's like, should we be doing this? You know, I don't see anywhere that you could say you shouldn't be, uh, so, but that's, I mean, that's a topic for another day. It's been hard. You know, it's, we're a few weeks out now from everything, uh, maybe even a few months. And so it's not quite as fresh anymore. Um, but I think it would have been cool to have another one. Mm -hmm. You know, one more little Amundsen running around. A little, a little Jabin Jr. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think uh, what I like about the pregnancies it's like you get to like every month you get to like look at the book and see what's next how oh, the baby's yeah. looking yeah mama has that book doesn't yeah she? that's fun and yeah. then also you get to like imagine how the baby is in yeah. the stomach and because it can hear you it's fun to talk to the baby and mm -hmm. all that stuff so i miss doing that like with ellie i remember <laughs> we would say ellie hi yeah. i love you yeah. like just talk to her man. ellie's the fact that ellie has had jabin and arabella as she's been growing up these first almost three years now, it's going to be three years in just a couple mm -hmm. weeks, um, has made a huge impact on her. Like, they teach her so much. She's 
like she's absorbing all the things that they already know as much as she can for the age she's at. So it's like they're her teacher in many ways because they play with her and you know she hears them talking and they'll read with her, they'll whatever, they'll do all mm -hmm. kinds of things together. And so Ellie, it's like Ellie has all this attention. She has mom and dad, but she also has these siblings that really care about her. And spoil her. Yeah, and, and I mean, I know that one day we'll get to meet those two that we, that we didn't get to meet here. Mm -hmm. But it does, we do still think about it, you know, um, and some more than others. You know, I feel like for myself, it's not quite as, as sad on my mind. Um, but I do think about it. So. Which, um, which miscarriage do you think was harder for you? That's a good question, bud. So I feel like the first one was harder because we had never gone through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I, I think I actually cried for that one. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That one was hard. Um, yeah. I remember coming home from work and, um, being there for mama cause she was going through it and yeah, it was hard. I remember we set up the tent out there and mom, we brought out her reclining chair and she, we would just sit out there and we'd like just mourn and sometimes oh. we'd, I feel like we would like get a bunch of snacks and just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Just Although not, it wasn't good for us, just to make us happy. Kind of zone out and not yeah. think about it. I think the hard one for me was the second miscarriage because I knew mm. more by then. Oh, okay. The we were first like one. Five before. Yeah, the first one I'm like, oh, what happened to the baby? Why isn't the baby here? Right. The second one I kind of knew this happened again. And I was urgent <laughs> for a brother because Ellie. Yeah. So. You got two girls I, already. Yeah. You wanted to have a little boy to run around with. So yeah, we, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and share with us if you've had similar experiences how you, and, and share with us how you've helped your children deal with tough things like this. You know, losing um, an unborn baby is not easy. Having a miscarriage in the family is not easy. You know, how have you walked through loss and pain and sorrow with your children? You know, what, what kind of things have you done? One thing Bename and I do is we try to make sure we're asking them how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, not just with this, but with other things, too. Every now and then we'll be like, how are you guys doing? Especially Bename is really good at it. She'll ask mm -hmm. the kids how they're oh, feeling. Yeah. yeah. She's a laser beam. <laughs> yeah, she can tell if they're not feeling right or if something's off. Mm -hmm. Daddy's a little more abrasive. <laughs> I think a miscarriage is better than having a baby and then the baby, while it's alive, dying. Because that would be mm. way more sad. You'd be than, more connected. Yeah, because you would have seen it and like held, held it. it. Yeah. That would yeah. be way more sad. So it's, yeah. I feel, it. I see a good side of the miscarriage okay. yeah. better than. It'd be harder for you if you would have met the baby and like seen it than, yeah. to, than to just know that it happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But you haven't had that connection quite like you yeah. would. Yeah. I've heard of people who had that before and they were yeah. really sad. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bright spot there. And then knowing that, you know, that little one is with God, God with yeah. the Lord now. So He's safe or she's safe. Yeah. Wouldn't it kind of be funny if they were both girls? Why? No, I'm just saying because I'm like, I'm like, oh, Bella's like, what if they were both boys? I'm like, yeah, but they could also be like one boy, one girl. Yeah, we they don't know. <laughs> we yeah. don't know. Yeah. It would be nice to meet them. Yeah, indeed. That'll be good. So guys, if you enjoyed um, pregnancy topics and you enjoyed this video, go ahead and go watch uh, Taking a Pregnancy Test in Walmart. We're gonna go ahead and link that and you can see Ben and May's experience doing that uh, for the pregnancy. And uh, we'll be in touch again soon to bring you more great content.